This dude. That was a turning lane, you fucking idiot. Don't honk at me, I'm sensitive. Well, okay, buddy. Whack. on YouTube welcome back to another video so this video doesn't really <laughs> I don't really have a specific thing I want to really talk about I was actually wasn't even planning on making a video like this because you can kind of see right here I have my phone mounted to the bike I had in mind a whole install video of doing this phone mount and whatnot but unfortunately all the stuff I need for the setup I don't have yet some of the stuff is on back order some stuff is coming from like Europe what it's mounted on right now isn't even really what I wanted to mount it on I was able to get some of the stuff but this ram mount is the exact I have that ram mount I and mean, I just had it laying around but it's not exactly what I wanted to use so there's a different kind of system I want to use but that stuff is on back order so I won't be able to get that for a while so I mean I, this weekend I wanted to like stall all that stuff and then take it out for a ride and just vlog it all and whatnot but this is kind of like a temporary solution right now but at the same time there are other youtubers who have done videos on mounting you know their phones on their MT-07s like this so it's like it's not like I'm the first one to ever do it or anything one of the other things I'm actually going to be getting too is a USB charger I think it's a Yamaha like accessory I think it's going to be a good minute before that shows up it'll probably hopefully it won't take too long I believe this is my first moto vlog like actual riding moto vlog on this bike since I did the grips the bar and mirrors the uh, the uh, frame slides, all that stuff. It's about time I do another like actual riding photo vlogs with the bike, with the bike and whatnot. Man, fall is starting to set in. It's not a, it's not set in 100%. There are some places, like like look at those trees right there. There are some places where the the tree, the trees have have changed, but there are a lot of lot of places that are still green. So it's still it's still in the beginning stages of, of fall right now. But you could see like every time I like driving, I could see like the mountainsides and all that. You could see like red, orange, and yellows like like trees starting to pepper in a little bit. Here sometime soon, I think I'm gonna go take a ride to the top of Mount Mitchell, which is the highest peak here. See how that looks like. Because from what I was told, usually when fall comes around and the leaves start to change, I mean it's not a hundred percent, but a lot of times the changing starts from like the top down, so like the highest elevations and and uh, it goes down. Well, I guess I could use this time as a little, I guess, update or something on how I am with the bike. It's not, it hasn't been a, a month quite yet because my first payment hasn't hit yet. So <laughs> that's uh, that's actually in the next week or so. I actually really like this bike. I am the more I ride it, the more and more uh, I'm in love with it. Uh, and knowing me, the more I start getting, you know, mods and accessories for it, the more I'm gonna love it. You know, like I can't wait till after the breaking period when I can like actually get an exhaust. Cause I want to do an exhaust, uh, a DNA air filter like I did with the Vulcan S, and then get a tune. So looking forward to that. I'm really digging this bike. It's so fun to, to, to ride. It's so easy and flickable and it's overall a joy to ride. I, I'm enjoying it. It's easy yet fun, you know. I can see myself keeping this bike for a long time, like even after paying it off and whatnot, you know, just, just keep it because it's it's such a good, damn good bike to have, you know. A few things that I don't really care about it, at least in terms of like how, it, how this bike sits factory-wise, uh, the suspension leaves a lot to be desired. It's, it's definitely, uh, you know, very budget-minded in terms of the, the forks. Not, not so much the rear um, coil, but I mean, like, come to think of it, seems to be everyone's general consensus when it comes to MT-07 that it's a great bike, but the suspension is usually the weak point, specifically the forks, because they're, like, too soft or something. And now, of course, I could mitigate that by getting some Olins, but that is expensive as fuck. Oh, hey, brother. Still need to do a fender delete or a fender eliminator. Man, that place always had a popping ass line. 
Old Europe. It's a ba it's a pastry store, like a European pastry store. There, that place is probably good. I've never tried it yet, but you know. Oh, the the border's behind me. God, I could hear him. La loud ass hog, the brother. Damn house. Oh look, another one. I didn't catch what kind of bike that was though. Looked like he was enjoying himself. That's actually what I like. Not just Asheville, but just the general area. The motorcycle like lifestyle is so much more prevalent here. I mean, it's pretty big in like Texas, obviously, and then like in Houston, but I don't know. It just seemed more... What the hell is that? Is that water or... It's weird. But yeah, the motorcycle lifestyle is just so much more prevalent here, which makes sense because this part of the country just has so many nice roads. There's... I mean, well, we all know about Tale of the Dragon. That's just two hours west of where I'm living. Matter of fact, just recently I found out that there's more dragon parts. <laughs> there's Back of the Dragon. I think there's Wings of the Dragon. There's a uh, Head of the Dragon, I think. Uh, there's, there's a few more, uh, like, <laughs> dragon parts. I had no idea. And then there's a road that's pretty local here called the Rattler. I've been meaning to go on that for a while. It's not too far from here. It's probably like 30 minutes. The, the start of it's like 30 minutes where I live. I got a little update on the channel. So originally I was gonna do this, um, make a separate channel for this. This channel is nowhere near, <laughs> far from it, nowhere near big enough to warrant having me, having, you know, for me to start a second channel for uh, a separate piece of uh, content or something. And I only post once a week at, at, as it is right now. So, so instead of starting a new channel, I'm just going to integrate this into uh, this current channel. What I'm going to do is once a week, aside what I already upload once a week, I am going to do a, like a series, kind of, sort of. It's going to be Jed's POV Riot, just simply named Jed's POV Riot, where it's just going to be videos of just uncut, uncut, unedited videos of my rides. You know, like no, and there's no talking, no commentary. Um, it's just going to, like once a week, alongside what I already upload, I'm going to do a series where it's just uncut, unedited motorcycle rides from first person point of view. But yeah, that's going to be happening here in the near future. I'll probably... Uh, I'm not sure yet, but probably the next week or so, uh, we're above 50 miles an hour. You better stay where you are. That's another thing I need to get for this bike, a windscreen. I like how it looks without a windscreen, but there's a, there's a couple windscreens on the market that, you know, add some good aesthetics, and plus they're functional. Man, I've also eyed some mods for this bike that are purely, purely aesthetic. They are so expensive, but they would, I, in my opinion, would make the bike pop a little bit more in terms of aesthetic. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on something that's just purely aesthetic. Oh shit. Well, what the hell was that? It's a random like little cart in the middle of the road. What the? F oh, look at that some fall vibes right there baby look at all that red sheesh that'd be nice that'd be nice another mod i've been considering is getting an r6 throttle too but this is assuming that the r6 throttle 2 will still work on this current generation pretty sure it does because it works on every other generation of mt07 and even though this is a new generation of mt07 it's not like radically new or anything so it should work right any uh mt07 people that follow me, uh, <laughs> let me know. Alright guys, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Like, again, I wasn't even, like, planning on doing this type of moto vlog today. If you haven't yet, go ahead and like the video, comment if you, uh, want to, share the video if you want to, subscribe if you haven't yet, if you're new to here, I do moto vlogs now on my new MT-07, and every now and then I'll do a video on my RS Extra CRX, which I haven't done in a while, to be honest, so, other than that, you have a good one, and peace.